Google Play Games Beta is here, but it's not suitable for everyone. That's why today I will show you three great alternatives to Google Play Games Beta for PC. I want to know that on my YouTube channel there are a special video tutorials with the help of which you can download and install each program and operating system including Google Play Store. All links will be in the video description. So let's get it started. So fellas, we are in the windows and before we get started, I recommend to one more time take a close look at Google Play Games Beta for PC. In short, I already made video about Google Play Games Beta for PC. The main reason why people don't like Google Play Games Beta is high system requirements. In my opinion, the system requirements is really too high because I think it is not necessary to have the Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 processor of a generation, minimum of a generation. There is a lot of cool processors of 6th generation, of 7th generation and they will give a good performance even if you run some popular games. Also, I want to mention that there is a lot of really powerful processor of 3rd, 4th and even 5th generation to run Google play games beta you need to have minimum for cores, physical cores, threads will not be suitable and it will run smoothly if you have Intel HD graphics 630. So the first deal breaker to download Google Play Games Beta is system requirements and the second deal breaker is that it has terrible compatibility with gamepad. Completely to be honest you cannot connect gamepad and play games using Google Play Games Beta and that sucks. That's why today we will look at some alternatives to Google Play Games Beta. And the first alternative to Google Play Games Beta is Bluestacks. Bluestacks is probably the best emulator which you can install on your Windows PC and also it supports Mac. So you can install it on Mac OS. In the past I ran this emulator on old Lenovo ThinkPad laptop since 2013. This laptop has only Intel Core i3 processor of 3rd generation, 8GB of RAM, DDR3. As you can see there is a different version of Bluestacks emulator, the older and the newer one. If you take a close look and you want to install Bluestacks 5, you can see that you need to have at least 4GB of RAM and 5GB of free space. And also it is not necessary to have 4 cores to run this emulator. I think 2 cores will be more than enough. If you have 2 cores and 4 threads it will be perfectly. Also I want to note that you can connect your gamepad if you want to play games using Bluestacks. It is a big benefit. And we finally are in Bluestacks emulator. First that you need to do is to set up your system. For this you need to click here on settings. After that, you can select how many cores do you want to use. Actually, my processor has only two cores, so I will select two cores. Here, we can allocate how many RAM do we want to use. And as you can see, by default, we see 1800 megabytes. Actually, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I can manually type 3000 megabytes and that's mean 3 gigabytes of RAM. In this case I will leave this option by default to get the best performance. After this process we need to save the changes. Click here, save changes. It will automatically restart. Obviously we need to sign in our Google account. I successfully signed to my Google account. Ok friends, so let's try to install some games. For the example I will install Among Us. Press enter, click install. As you can see, I stopped using screen recording program on my Windows computer because this is quite old laptop and I want to show you the maximum performance which you can get on your old computer. Now we need to click accept. Let's run this game. Oh my gosh, that's me. So friends, as you can see, I have a very important mission today. Among Us work quite well on Bluestacks emulator. If you want to close the game, you can just press F11 key. After that, you can click here and you can close application which you previously opened. Let's move forward to the second alternative to Google Play Games Beta and that is Prime OS. Here we are on the Prime OS official website from which you can download this operating system. Yes, 
it is operating system. That's mean you can install it on your laptop or PC and you have an option to run it from your USB stick. But in my opinion, if you want to get all benefits of this operating system, you should install it on your hard drive. As you can see, we can decide which version will be more suitable for us. And if you have an old laptop or PC, I recommend to download the Android 7 standard. And here I recommend to select an ISO file. So after this, you just need to create a bootable USB stick and install it on your hard drive. We are in the Prime OS and first of all, I recommend to connect your laptop to the Wi-Fi, to the internet. You need to click here, select Wi-Fi, click connect it. I successfully connected to the internet. Now we can go to the Play Store and if you pay attention, we have Google Chrome browser by default. I will click on the Play Store, sign in your Google account. After signing to your Google account, you will be able to install games, for the example, Odmar. Also, I want to mention that you can play Free Fire and it has nice compatibility and optimization if you want to play it using keyboard. Yep, we successfully installed Odmar and now we can run this game. We have only few applications, but they are very useful and popular. Google Chrome browser, Play Store, YouTube. Finally, let's launch this game. Click on it. To run Odmar, you just need to click on play, but if you want to get the best performance, you can click here and select performance. Then you can click on play. Fellas, as you can see, we're running Odmar on Prime OS. This game well optimized so we can use keyboard without any problem. Definitely, this game is exclusive. It's available only on Android. I want to remind you that not all games well optimized to play them on keyboard, but as far as I understand, you can use key map option. That means you can manually set up keys which you want to use in the game. And finally, let's talk about the last alternative, and that is Windows Subsystem for Android. More precisely, you can type WSA Builds GitHub. Simply to understand, this project will allow you to run Android games and application directly from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. Actually, it is very convenient because after installation, Google Play Store will appear in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you take a close look, it has the same system requirements as Google Play Games Beta. Minimum 8 gigabytes of RAM and also as well, you need to have Intel Core i3 processor of 8 generation or Ryzen 3000. So we can click on search and type Play Store. As you can see, we have Play Store. Now we can click on it. Obviously, you need to have a Google account. Sign in. My friends, I hope it will be not complicated for you. You just need to enter your email and password. Then select next. And then you will be able to install application and games from the Google Play Store. And finally, we are in Google Play Store. Now we can install application and games. On my smartphone, I got notification that it identified this application, Windows Subsystem, as Android 13. So yep, it is quite relevant because we have only Android 14 on Google Pixel smartphones. So let's install some game. I will try to install Apple Night. Yep, here we see Apple Night. I will click on it install. I decided to install this game because to play this game we can use keyboard and it will be a good example can we use keyboard using Windows subsystem for Android. I will click on play. Okay, I will skip this moment. Friends, I just turned off the sound because I don't want to have any copyright claim or copyright strike. I hope you understand. So first thing that I want to know, yes, we can use keyboard. As you can see, I just press enter. I can move my character left and right. Also, I can press the space bar. Can I hit something? As you can see, I can throw the apples and I can hit the enemy. Good. So yep, in my opinion, it is playable. 
I think it depends on the game which you want to play, not all game is well optimized to play them using keyboard or gamepad, sometimes it depends on the emulator, sometimes it depends on developers, because developers can optimize game and then it will be much easier to play them using keyboard or gamepad. I want to remind you one more time that we using Windows subsystem on Windows 11, this is not Android emulator, this is not Android OS, like Prime OS or something like that. I think on your laptop or PC it will work more smoothly because I run it in virtual machine plus I using screen recording program plus I allocated only 8 gigabyte of RAM. That's mean probably you can get much better result. My conclusions, these alternatives have a really low system requirements and also they will allow you to connect your gamepad which is really great. And if you want to run games and application directly from your Windows system, you can install Windows subsystem for Android. It is quite cool. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video where I reviewed Google Play Games beta for PC.